Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Let's get into this week's lesson. This week we're going to start a research project and this is a project that's going to take us multiple weeks. So don't worry if you do not complete everything in one week because it's not scheduled that way. For this week our goal is just to do our research. So after this week then we will work on creating a presentation from the research that we did. But for this week all you have to do is the research. We're going to be researching on famous scientists or inventors. You could pick someone who's not on this list, but if you choose somebody who's not on this list, please message me first so I know that the person is appropriate for this project. Okay, so I'll just very quickly go over some of the choices for who you could pick for this project. Okay, and once again, this is a multiple week project. This is not going to be something that we only complete in, in one week. So this is going to take many weeks to complete. So let's look at some of the people that uh, are included. We have uh, Albert Einstein, a famous scientist, Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone, Benjamin Franklin, Charles Darwin, Edward Hubble, um, Galileo, George Washington Carver, Gregor Mendel, Henry Cavendish, Henry Ford, Sir Isaac Newton, Ivan Pavlov, Leonardo da Vinci, Louis Pasteur, May Carol Jamson, astronaut, Marie Curie, Niels Bohr, Nikola Tesla. You've probably heard of the Tesla automobile that was named after Nikola Tesla. Rachel Carson, environmentalist, Stephen Hawking, physicist and astronomer, Thomas Edison, inventor of the light bulb. Timothy John Berners-Lee, he's credited with inventing in, with inventing the internet. The Wright brothers, they invented the airplane. Sally Ride, a very famous astronaut. Bill Gates. Bill Gates is the in inventor of the company Microsoft. The computers in our school, the Windows computers, they are from his company Microsoft. So Bill Gates started the company Microsoft and uh, the Windows operating system. So he was a real computer uh, whiz and we owe a lot to him in terms of technology. Steve Jobs, most people are familiar with. Steve Jobs started Mac Macintosh. So you know uh, Apple uh, computers, Apple iPhones, <laughs> iPads. Those are all from Steve Jobs' company. Now, Steve Jobs passed away, but he's the one who started the technology. So Steve Jobs, very, very important. We wouldn't have iPhones. We wouldn't have MacBooks without Steve Jobs. Elon Musk is somebody you've probably heard of. He started the company uh, Tesla, which you've probably seen the electric cars Tesla. So he's the one who started that company. He also started PayPal, and a, he also has, does a lot with solar energy. So he's somebody who's nowadays very famous and many people are familiar with because he's really uh, a great businessman and inventor. Sergey Brin started Google. And um, that's obviously something that you use all the time. And Google is a major search engine. They also um, have YouTube under it. So Sergey Brin started Google, and then YouTube was a second company, and they um, merged them under their umbrella of Google. Uh, Johannes Gutenberg, Printing Press. Grace Hopper. Grace Hopper is a very famous computer scientist. She's a computer programmer. She was uh, a programmer during World War II. And um, she used her computer science knowledge to help uh, the United States win the World War II. Steve Wozniak was uh, Steve Jobs' partner at Apple. So he's also somebody who's very important to our society because he started Apple Computer with Steve Jobs. Nolan Bushnell, he started the Atari video game. So if you like playing video games, you can thank Nolan Bushnell because he started Atari, which was a video game system back in the early 80s. Bill Hewlett and David Packard started uh, Hewlett Packard's computers. Gorman Moore, he started Intel computers. Jean Partick was a computer programmer. Ada Lovelace lived in the 1800s, and she's considered the first computer programmer. Charles Babbage was her instructor, and um, he came up with the idea of a programmable computer. And unfortunately for Charles Babbage, in the time that he lived in, in the 1800s, he couldn't really test out his theories on computers because they didn't have the equipment. So he was a little ahead of his time. So what I would like you to do this week is first pick one of these people. And if you have somebody you want to pick who's an, a scientist or an inventor and they're not on this list, just let me know first so that I could approve it. Okay? So it doesn't have to be somebody who's 
um, you know, from decades ago, you know, some of these people are relevant today. If you have a, a scientist or inventor that you want to do, that you want to research, uh, let me um, know and just send me a message and I'll approve the person if they're not on the list. If the person's on this list, they're approved. So the first part of this week's assignment is pick which person from the list you want to research on. Okay, now here's part two. The next part of our assignment is researching on the person. So here's what you're going to research on them. The first thing you're going to do is when we make our PowerPoint, which we're going to start doing next week, you're going to have to have a title and uh, of the project and the name. So don't really worry about that. We'll do that next week. But, and you'll find a photo next week on the person. But for this week, I would like you to see if you could find a famous quote from the person. If you can't do it, don't worry about it. We can do, talk about that more next week. But I'd like you to see if you could find a famous quote on the person. I also would like you to see if you could find their birthday and their city of birth and just anything general about their family. I mean, if they had brothers and sisters, anything about their parents, where they lived. Next thing I'd like you to find is their early adult life, their education, and their early work. Maybe they had a job working as a teacher. Maybe they um, were a lawyer. I don't know what their background is. Maybe you could tell me what college they went to, right? So you're going to you're gonna do that research on that person. Then we're going to research about their adulthood, what type of experiences they had, where did they work, what were things that they achieved, okay, that made them important. Now, this one, uh, you know, if the person passed away, when did they die, what did they die of, maybe you also could tell, um, you know, the, the uh, place, if you know that, but the place is not uh, required, but if you find that, please put that in. If the person's still alive, you just skip this one. And this is the most important one. How did this person leave the world a better place? How did they change the world? Okay, so these are the topics we're going to research on this week for the person. We're going to find the quote for them. We're going to tell about their early life, their birthday, their family, where they went to school, their early work, some of their accomplishments, and then if they died, when they died, and then finally their legacy. How did they change the world? So you may be thinking, well, where, where are you going to find this research? What you're going to do is you're going to go to the school website. Okay, we have many resources here. You can use FactMonster, Duckster. I try to put them on the left side here. FactMonster, Duckster, KidRex, Kittle, KidClick Search, Safe Click Search, Kidtopia. Okay, so you can use some of those. So let's say um, I was, you know, doing a project on Albert Einstein. Okay, I could put in here Albert Einstein. Maybe I wanted to do a birthday. Okay, I need to look up a birthday. I can go over here and I can search for his birthday. And now I have some things about Albert Einstein. Okay, if I wanted to look up a quote, I could put Albert Einstein quotes. Right, I could Albert Einstein quotes. I could look up. And now I can find the quote on Albert Einstein. I would also really recommend this website, Duckster, because they really help you with your research. Does everybody see Duckster here? So if you go to Duckster, and we have biographies over here, we have many, many great people that you could research here. And if the person's not in here, and here you see there's many inventors right over here for you. If the person's not over here, you could search them on the top. But this website makes it so easy for everyone. If you click over here, let's say you were doing um, Thomas Edison. You click on it, and look what it does. It tells you his birthday, his occupation, when he died, what he's best known for. And you have your little biography here. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we're picking our person. And the second thing we're doing is we're starting to research on them. Okay, so we're going to find these topics on the person, these, these aspects of them. And then we're going to write down our research. So here's he, I would like you to do your research uh, any way you would like. I did it this way because I, I don't have a pencil and paper for you to see me with, right? So you do not have to do this on PowerPoint. I'm going to say it again. You do not have to do this on PowerPoint. What you could do is just take a pencil and paper and, and write this stuff out. So this is a flow map. And I said, you know, how was Grace, who was Grace Hopper and why was she important? And then I said, okay, the cover, she's going to, this will be my quote, her early life, when was she born? Uh, tell me about her family, you know, other parts of her life, her early life. You know, she got a PhD, she married, she was working in the Navy, and then her adulthood. I wrote some things about her adulthood. And then finally, 
when she died, and then her legacy. So w these topics over here, I want to make sure everybody sees this, they match up with this. Okay, so here's the research. Remember, I was, I was looking for a quote. Here's the quote. Then I was looking for her early life. Here's her early life, her birthday, her family. Okay, all that stuff is here. The next thing I was looking for, early adult life, early adult life, right over here. That's her education. She got married. And then what does it say? It says work experience, right? Her work experience, she's, she's in the Navy. Adulthood, what were her accomplishments? I say over here, she was a computer programmer. She helped the United States win World War II. Then on the next one, I did her death when she died and then her legacy. And the legacy is how did she change the world? How did she leave the world a better place? How did she change the world? So I put that right there. So I want to make sure this is clear. You do not have to do this on PowerPoint like I did this. I just did this because it was easy for me with my screen capturing tool that I could show um, show how to do a flow map. You could do this just with a piece of loose leaf if you like. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Just do it on a piece of loose leaf like this and draw up your flow map. You also could just... Um, Write on a piece of paper, you know, just if you just want to write write notes, just how you normally write notes. Okay, this is, um, you, you know, this is her birthday. Here's a quote. You could just write it like that as well. But here's a flow map if you want to do a flow map. And once again, you do not have to do this in PowerPoint like I'm doing this. You could just do this on a piece of paper and take a photo of it and upload it. Okay, so just to review what we're doing this week is you're going to pick one of the scientists from the list of scientists, okay? List of scientists, you're going to pick one of the scientists, and then you're going to research about these topics, okay, of the person. And we're going to use the school website. You're going to use the school website. I'll go back here so you can see. Okay, you can use any of these over here on the school website. You could use Kittle, Kids Click Search, KidRex, and then Safe Search Kids. And sometimes what you could do too, if you're clicking on something, if you want information, you could say like Albert Einstein biography for kids. Okay, so you foot for kids and then you click search and then sometimes you'll get better uh, biographies, more geared for children. See history for children and then you could start down here and look for some of topics in. But Ducksters, as I said, is a great one as well for getting uh, information. So after you do your research, you're going to start jotting it down. Again, you don't have to do this on PowerPoint like I did. You could just use a pencil and paper and write it on a, write your research on a pencil and paper and then uh, take a photo of your research and put it into Google Classroom so I could see it. Again, this week, all we're doing is a research, and then next week we'll begin creating our PowerPoint. If anybody has any questions, you can email me or you can send me a message in Google Classroom, and I'll help you to uh, get uh, pointed in the right direction.